Hi, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 16th, 2023, Jupiter entering into Taurus reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps this channel out immensely, especially because of the break I had to take due to family health issues. So thank you all so very much. You're helping me get back on that YouTube algorithm, which is just it's just unbelievable. Thank you all so much for liking, for commenting, for subscribing. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time, because we're going through a big energy shift. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Oh, here we have Scorpio reverse. So if you are on the cusp of Scorpio, or if you're just interested, go check out Scorpio's reading because Scorpio had Scorpio energy reverse as the energy you have to be mindful of. So just go check that out if you're interested because there are already similarities and we only pulled one card. And when you guys are so close to each other, the interconnectedness can be quite powerful. The message can be quite powerful from spirit. Scorpio energy is hidden secrets, okay? Reversed, it's being secretive. It's, you know, negative energy around the development of self. So here, just be aware of this. And it's the spiritual self. Know that Jupiter entering into Taurus can be harder for us than it can be for other signs. Why, you might ask, is because we're ruled by Jupiter, all right? So Jupiter doing any sort of shift is a big deal for us. Now, we tend to come out of things more smelling like a rose than we don't because Jupiter is the planet of abundance and knowledge and positive change. And we really have that luck of Jupiter, which is the Roman name for the God of Zeus, right on our side. Now, entering into Taurus, Jupiter enhances any sign that it's with, any planet that it's next to. So here, Taurus, it enhances the stability, the calm, the positivity, the practicality, the sensuality, the abundance. Abundance is going to be a big thing. It's going to be more of the acquisition of physical abundance here on the earthly plane. Scorpio reversed, okay, can be very much kind of the abstract, the abstract thinking, the abstract connection with spirit coming forward. And that can be rather overwhelming for us. So just be aware of this, especially since Sagittarius, part of our personality is we like to know what we know what we know. You know, there's a sense of, no, I'm certain, I've researched, I've discovered, and that's going to be a big part of this time where we can have just a question mark around everything. And it's like, is my gut leading me in the right way? Am I listening correctly? You know, am I connecting to the ideas that are coming forward, that are expanding within my own world? So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Here we have Luminous. So I love this card because it always makes me think of my childhood. And I grew up in Connecticut and there was one time at our door a big Luna moth on the on a tree. And that was the first time I ever saw one. That was the first time my mom ever saw one because she grew up in New York and New York City. And she was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. So there's going to be something here that's fleeting, but absolutely breathtaking. So just be aware of this. However this manifests in your life, it could be by seeing a Luna moth, but it's going to be something fleeting because the lives of Luna moths are fleeting, but it's going to be something so illuminating, so beautiful for you. It stays with you. So let's see what the tarot has to say. 
angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels interesting and spirit guides angels and spirit guides okay so i told you that <laughs> this was going to be a major time for you that it might not be as smooth sailing kind of like in the chinese zodiac when people say like we're in the year of the rabbit if you're born in the year of the rabbit this can be a more difficult time for you if you're born in the year of the tiger you know last year that could have been a more difficult time for you having intense energy in jupiter it can make things a little bit tricky but it's really having us look at things in a way and say you know what no and that's going to be a very powerful thing kind of even just processing saying no i don't have to show up to that argument I don't have to accept it. You know, there was this parable my brother was telling me from the Dalai Lama. And this one person said, like, if somebody's angry at you and yelling at you, how do you not get angry? And the Dalai Lama answered and said, you do not have to accept every gift. So if somebody is handing you their gift of rage, of anger, of frustration, you can turn around and say, I don't accept this and walk away. And I was like, whoa, you know, because I always thought, as somebody who's very empathic, it wasn't, I never thought of not accepting other emotions. Sometimes other emotions can be so overwhelming that it's hard to function in the world. And here saying, I don't accept that. I'm walking in my energy. And even if we're in a very negative, you know, chaotic energy space with other people, we can go like this with our fingers. Okay. And that's, and we can, you know, put our hands in our pockets or, you know, just keep them by our side, you know kind of demurely so people don't see because they can be like, what are you doing? But that's just to cut us off from other people's chaotic negative energy. So that's going to be a very powerful thing because we're moving from the battle energy of Aries, right? Which Jupiter enhanced. So that meant that we were very good at fighting. You know, everybody was very good at fighting and everybody kind of liked to be in a fight, right? Because that's where Aries shines. Like I'm going to win. I'm going to conquer. I'm going to go after this. Now we're moving into Taurus, which is a calmer, stabler energy. Yes, negative Taurus energy, stubborn as a mule, and can be like a bull in a china shop, but we're not going to, you know, sow the fields with salt type of thing as Aries energy can want to when it's, at, when it's mad. So that's going to be something that's a very interesting energy shift. And we can see that here coming through quite powerfully. Now stepping into Taurus energy, we can be having a bit of difficulty showing up the way that the Taurus energy that we're stepping into wants us to. So this is going to be a time where we need to start talking, not talking, showing up for ourselves physically, okay? And Taurus energy, Taurus energy can be a little bit more on like the sturdy side, all right? So bigger boned, it, it, we, Taurus energy can tend to be, and I don't wanna be insulting to anybody, but like have more meat on their bones than other energies. They're not usually the rail thin people. And even if they are, then it's because they're super athletic or just athletic people. So this is going to be an energy that we step into and we can feel like, do I feel comfortable in this? Like, do I feel comfortable in this more homely connected, like not homely as in, as in ugly, you know, homely as in I'm focusing on my home, my hearth, myself type of energy. So that's going to be something for some reason for us Sagittarius, it's like, why am I having a difficult, why am I having difficulty with this? Why am I having difficulty showing up for myself this way? There's also an energy around our dress, you know, kind of like that energy of dress to success, just for success type of thing. This is going to be a time where we do have difficulty around this and spirits like why, why it's time to start showing up for ourselves, Sagittarius. Now there's also a sense here of having difficulty with the feminine aspect of Taurus. Taurus is a feminine as a feminine sign. And there's a sense here of stepping into that feminine power can be overwhelming for us. And we see that in Scorpio energy, it came through a little bit stronger, well, a lot stronger actually. But here we're going to find that problem too. There's a sense of how do I show up for my story and myself? How do I embrace my sacred femininity? What does that look like for me? And there's also a sense of like, I don't wanna take care of one more thing. And that can be perfectly okay. You know, especially feminine energy, there tends to be a, a sense of, we well, should just be taking care of everybody, right? The earth mother energy is this person who never tires of taking care of everyone and just walks around so caring and so healing. And we may have enough on our plate 
we don't have to take care of everybody else. So be aware of that. The King of Cups reversed is we're having a hard time listening and following our heart. This is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, the earth sign energy here with the pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. But we're having a hard time following our heart and saying, I'm leading by my emotions and by what is emotionally healthy and prosperous to me. It doesn't mean that we sit there and say, oh, well, this is uncomfortable. I'm never going to do it. It's like, no, I move forward in healing love, meaning I meet chaos with love. I meet anger with love. I meet, you know, everything with love and with healing. And that is a huge order to put on anybody. And we could be having difficulty with this. We're fire sign energy. We like to meet it with, you know, with, you know, kind of like piss and vinegar, a little bit, you know, a little bit of, of, of fierceness. But we're going to be finding that that's part of one of our challenges for this time to meet it with love and compassion. It moves us to the five of wands reverse. We're releasing a lot of nonsense fighting. This is like, what the hell is this? This is just like wasting my energy, wasting my time, not good for me energy. This is being pulled into other people's gossip. This is being pulled into other people's battles. This can be something that started off as fun and then people get a little bit too competitive, a little bit too many egos get into play. So just be aware of this. Now the lover's reverse is Gemini energy. We can be having a bit of difficulty, first of all, with a Gemini, but we can also be having difficulty with the duality of ourselves and finding the balance of the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. There is a sense of how does my heart lead me forward and how can I embrace what I love? And this is going to be a time where we're really being called on embracing love, healing, compassion, and grace. And it can also be a time where we're starting to see what we love changing, what we love evolving, relationships evolve. You know, places where we had difficulty expressing our love, expressing our passion, expressing our desires, they start to evolve. And we start to see ourselves stepping out of chaos because this is chaos around love. This can be being afraid to love, intimacy, you know, going after what we desire type of thing. It could be romantic. It could be not romantic. It doesn't have to equate that way in our lives. But this is going after the passion in life and being afraid. It could be because of what we've been through in the world that we are afraid. And it can be, you know, just, just fear that comes forward. And we don't know what that is. It could be past life. So here there is an energy where we really start to understand what we love and what we desire how to have that come into balance with us, but also know that love, even though it sounds great and it might sound funny to say, but it could be something that we find very overwhelming to follow our love forward. But it's going to be something that we're kind of double dog dared to do. Like, can you really embrace your love, what you love and what you desire? Because we're tired of fighting with everyone and we're really walking away from it. And we can find during this time from May, 2023 to May, 2024, that we walk away from a lot that has caused us chaos. And we start to find a stability and a sanctuary within ourselves and within what we desire to move closer and closer to our trueness and to our joy, to our passion, and to where we really want to be in our lives. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of during this time is the nine of swords. And this makes perfect sense. Worry, doubt, fear feeling completely overwhelmed. We can also have, okay, so spirits are saying timeline for the Gemini energy. Gemini time period is May 21st to June 20th. This can be a difficult time for us, a time when we're tested. So just be aware of that. And with the nine of swords, worry, doubt, and fear. The repeat of the number nine, we kind of feel responsible and we're taking on big responsibilities or we've taken on big responsibilities. We can be, we can be regretting them. Okay, just because we love something or we love someone or we, you know, love has guided us, it doesn't always mean that it's an easy decision that has been made. And it can be one that has us really questioning our own worth and power in this world, even though others can be seeing us as very powerful and successful. We can be feeling very overwhelmed and even trusting our own heart. It could be hard, it could be overwhelming for us. So here, just understanding those questions, understanding that that overwhelming feeling is going to be important and is going to be powerful. It moves us, you know, worried out in fear. We can be expert warriors. I mean, I know I am working very hard on not being an expert warrior, but man, I could get an A++ in worrying. 
And that's what spirit is saying to us. It's time to let that go. And it's hard, especially the more real life gets and everything that was kind of like abstract and out there. You're like, oh no, this is real. And then you can really start to worry because now fear is knocking on your door. It brings us to our subconscious message from spirit and it's success. We're not feeling successful, which is hysterical because others are seeing us as a success, right? We have the queen of pentacles. We have the king of cups. This means internally, internally, we might not see ourselves as successful, but when people look at us, they're like, hey, you know, you're doing pretty darn great. Can you teach me? Can you help me? Can you lend a hand? And that's what we really need to understand is that we need to stop pulling everybody else up at the expense of ourselves. Success reversed. We need to start seeing ourselves as, as successful. That's going to be a powerful thing. It moves us to our subconscious tarot message, which is Capricorn energy reverse. We're releasing a lot of addictions, okay? And we're also kind of going back to nature. Things can be a little chaotic. They don't have to be perfectly formed. The devil, which represents, and this is the um, wild herdsman, yeah, there's a sense of great wisdom and great connection with sacred masculine energy that's coming forward. We can have a bit of issue with that as it comes forward. How do I handle this? How do I take this all in? But we're releasing a lot of addictions. We're re releasing a lot of misconceptions. And we're really stepping into our body and ourselves more and more and our nature without trying to force or conform anything. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Sagittarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.